capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. The willingness to learn is a choice. And quote, The better thing about learning is that nothing can take it away from you. Make the right choice and be open to learning and it will give transformation to our life. Remember, not everyone is given the gift of capacity to learn. Don't waste it. At this juncture, we will be learning new things that would be beneficial for all of us for it generate knowledge around inquiry in practical educational context. Welcome to this action research presentation entitled Strengthening Learner Skills in Earth Science Activities through Video-Based Performance. This is Clifton C. Duabes of Marcela Tibabanta National High School. As this virus continuously spreads, the future is uncertain and unpredictable. The coronavirus disease has squeezed not only the economic, psychological, and social, but the education in excessive degree. However, education must continue despite the challenges posed by COVID-19. One way of improving quality of life is through providing an individual with significant learning experiences, a system of learning and assessment that allows students to demonstrate their knowledge and skills in a learning atmosphere that embraces higher order thinking skills. In performance-based learning, the subject matter and direction does not have to adjust but instead of evaluating the learner's understanding from the content, the learners are allowed to demonstrate what they have learned. This is known as a video-based performance. In the scientific arena, video-based performance is a terrific tool for learners as they record various actions and impresses another curriculum or a cross-curriculum for it expresses information on the study of a historic figure. As specified in the school record of Marcela Timabanta National High School, the modular distance learning modality disclosed lack of commanding figure to monitor the learners and does not consent learners to display what skills they've learned. Integrated learning is insignificantly in boy. To increase learners' performance and promote higher order thinking skills, video-based performance firmly strengthens learner skills in earth science activities. The proposed intervention of this study is video-based performance. Video-based performance was evaluated through the validated teacher-made video-based performance rubric as a tool in monitoring the learners made video-based performance. Learners are in effort to produce video-based performance that demonstrate their understanding of the concepts. On the action research questions, the main drive of this study was to determine the effect of video-based performance in strengthening learner skills in earth science activities. Number one, what is the performance of the respondents in earth science before and after the intervention? Number two, is there a significant difference between the performances of the respondents in earth science before and after the intervention? In the action research methods, particularly letter A, the subject of the study were the 30 senior high school grade 11 humanities and social sciences. Purposive sampling was utilized in choosing the respondent of the study. Further, the research locale of the study was Marcela Timabanta National High School of Libertad, Kauswagan, Lanao del Norte. For the data gathering methods, the study employed the validated teacher-made video-based performance rubric as a main tool in monitoring learners made video-based performance. Series of validation processes were undertaken by the researcher and by the video-based performance rubric validators. After the approval of the rubric validation, the researcher proceeded to the implementation process. For the data analysis, the data of the study were analyzed using the mean and the t-test for paired observation. For the discussion of results and reflection, to answer research question number one, we have here two presentations. Table one shows the performance of the respondents in earth science before the intervention. As shown, 18 or 60% of the respondents got poor scores and 12 or 40% of the respondent got fair and good scores. This implies that if learners are allowed to demonstrate their knowledge and skills in a learning environment that embraces their higher order thinking skills, here in Table 2, as shown, 12 or 36.36% of the respondents got excellent and 13 or 43.36% of the respondents got fair and good. Here in Table 3, 
pair differences on the pretest and posted scores of the respondents in earth science. Table 3 shows the pair differences on the pretest and posted of the respondents in earth science. The pretest has a mean of 14.83 with a standard deviation of 4.46 while the posted has a mean of 25.40 with a standard deviation of 3.13 these paired variables have a paired mean difference of negative 8.3 with a t-value of 13.45. It shows that there is a significant difference between the performances of the respondents in earth science before and after the intervention. Further, the teacher made video-based performance rubric as a tool in monitoring the learners made video-based performance that serve as the observation guide of the teacher to guarantee effective and well-organized learning support learners comprehend what they are projected to learn as it aligns expectations for the conclusions. Number 1. Before the intervention, 60% of respondents got poor scores and 40% of the respondents got fair and good scores. Number 2. After the intervention, 36.36% of the respondents got excellent performance and 43.33% got very good performance. Number 3. There is a significant difference between the performances of the respondents in earth science before and after the intervention. Number 4. Video-based performance serve as an excellent task in earth science of Marcela Timabanta National High School. Number 5. Video-based performance can boost learner engagement since it helps in making the subject easy, interactive, and convenient. Number 6. Video-based performance serves as a useful and educational tool for understanding and sharing information. Number 7. Video-based performance provides learners a sense of achievement. Learners have learned the worth of effort, listening abilities, and self-confidence. For their recommendations, Number 1. Department of Education officials, as curriculum planners, may support the educational goals of the basic education curriculum in planning seminars or conferences towards video-based performance as an assessment in cultivating 21st century skills. Number 2. School heads may play a significant role in facilitating varied activities that are related with video making and production that would address various students' needs, intelligences, and abilities. Number three, teachers may consider being updated on the trends in technology today, participate in training, seminar to acquire ideas and skills in making video-based performance. Number four, given that learners take pleasure in watching videos online, it is healthier and be a great help in their understanding if learners upload educational self-made videos. Number 5. The parents and community are encouraged to support their learners by providing materials and equipment needed for learning. The last one, future researchers may conduct future-related studies on other subjects or courses, most especially in dealing with actual performances. That would all be for my action research presentation. I would like to thank all those who have helped one way or another and have contributed to the success of this study. I owe it all to you. Once again, this is Clifton C. Duabes of Marcela Timabanta National High School, Division of Plano del Norte. Thank you and to God be all the glory.